and welcome to Beyond the Stage. Today I'm joined by Liz Bills from the band Analog Heart. So Liz, tell us, what are some of your earliest memories of music growing up? started music when I was eight. Um, my dad gave me piano lessons. Uh, so I started playing the piano and I started singing and playing in my room as a kid. And I was really shy. I didn't start playing in front of people until I was 21. Who were some of your biggest musical influences? Um, growing up, it was probably Billy Joel, Elton John, Fleetwood Mac, uh, all the stuff my mom listened to, really. Do you remember your first live performance? Um, yeah, I was actually trying to think of what it, my first actual live performance was the other day, and I couldn't remember. I guess the very first time I sang in front of people was for my eighth grade talent show. I sang uh, The Wind Beneath Your Wings by um, uh, Bette Midler, yeah. Can you tell us about your experience on American Idol? I was on American Idol for in 2013 and I made it to the top 30 girls in Hollywood and I made it all the way to the final day in Hollywood and they um, cut me on the last day but, but it was a, a very positive experience that when they aired the show they aired me in a very positive uplifting way and they didn't show me being eliminated either so that was awesome it was very exciting and yeah I would love to do it again if I could. Who is the one person you'd like to share a stage with? Grace Potter. Definitely. I feel like, yeah, I could never sing as well as she can, but I would just love to meet her and sing with her. She has a great voice. Can you tell us about Analog Heart and how you got started? Yeah, um, I started Analog Heart five years ago now. Uh, I remember what made me start the band was, um, you know, I was smoking a pack a day of cigarettes and I wasn't doing anything with my voice. And I remember waking up one day and I just quit cigarettes and I put an ad on Craigslist looking for band members. And I actually found my entire band on Craigslist and, you know, I haven't smoked a cigarette ever since either. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just been like a crazy ride and I was terrified to do it, but um, I'm so glad I did. And yeah, we've been playing together for five years now. Can you tell us a little bit about the EP you have available? Um, our four song EP came out in 2012 uh, with songs I had written on my own and brought to the band. And we actually just finished recording our first full length album. So that'll be 10 songs. And the single is Aramac Jane is available now for download. You can find it on iTunes. Um, Pretty much any uh, Spotify, you can stream it anywhere, really, it'll be there. <laughs> what are your goals moving forward? Um, our goals moving forward uh, um, is just to be touring more. We want to expand, so we're going on a little tour in July. We'll be headed through Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, Connecticut, um, Albany, New York. Uh, then we'll go on tour again in October. We'll be hitting Syracuse and those same places I mentioned before. Um, and we just really want to expand and, you know, record more music. And um, that's basically what we're trying to do now. Is there something outside of music that you enjoy that fans might not know about? Uh, I guess outside of music, what I would enjoy, I do music so much that, yeah, the only other thing I can think of is probably, it's kind of lame, but like, being healthy, I guess. <laughs> so I love cooking and like preparing all my meals and I love working out and it really brings me a lot of like a happiness being healthy. Where is the best place to stay up to date with your music and everything you have going on? Um, I'd say the best place is just Facebook. You can find us, just look up Analog Heart on Facebook and it really keeps you up to date with all the latest videos, music, what's going on, where we'll be going and all of that. It's probably the best.